What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we got to talk about Vince McMahon releasing a statement of head of the Netflix docu uh, docuseries talking about Vince McMahon. It's supposed to be dropping uh, this Wednesday, I believe. Yep, September 25th. And I do plan on checking it out. I'm not sure if it's going to be broken in, up into episodes or just one long uh, documentary. But if it is broken up into episodes, I'm going to be doing like a, a review of each one. Obviously, I can't really do like a live reaction of it because um, most likely it will get copyrighted. But I will do like a, you know, a review of each episode talking about it if they do break it up that way. But he's it seems like he's trying to do damage control because obviously he had probably seen an early cut of it so he's trying to do damage control and release a statement about the netflix docu uh documentary that's talking about him so we're gonna check this out apparently this broke on twitter so let me go ahead make myself smaller and pull this up for y'all man so y'all can see this is on the wrestle ops page vince mcmahon has issued an official statement on the upcoming uh, Netflix docuseries surrounding him. I don't regret participating in this Netflix documentary. The producers had an opportunity to tell an objective story about my life and the incredible business I built, which were equally filled with excitement, drama, fun, and fair amount of controversy and life lessons. Man, he's painting this like, you know, he just had a little bit of fun. That's all. Just a little bit of fun. Nothing too crazy. You know, nothing, nothing obscene or weird or disgusting was going on. No, 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 no. Just fun. Uh, unfortunately, based on early uh, partial cut, uh, uh, early partial cut, I've seen the docs uh, fall short and takes the predictable path of conflating the Mr. McMahon character with my true self, Vince. Come on, Vince. Come on, Vince. Hey, accountability is a thing, even for someone at your age. Come on, Vince. You try to sit up there and say, like, oh, the Vince McMahon character is separate from me. No. Sometimes the best characters that we've seen in wrestling were extension of the person. They just dialed it up even more. Yours was more or less the same. But that's neither here nor there. The title and promos alone make that evident. A lot has been mis uh, mis misrepresented or left out entirely in an effort to leave viewers intentionally confused. The producers use typical editing tricks without of context footage um, and dated sound bites, etc. Dated, huh? To distort the viewer's perception and support a deceptive narrative. In an attempt to further their misleading account, the producers use a lawsuit based on uh, based on an affair. I ended as uh, evidence that I am fact that I am in fact Mr. McMahon. So it seems like they most likely going to bring up the Janelle Grant stuff, which they had to. This is part of the main reason why he's not even in involved with wwe anymore because of the janelle grant situation and the affair that he was having with uh his wife so i hope the viewer will keep an open mind and remember that there are two sides to every story gotta love it gotta love it and you see the comments right here on the side bro trying to clear his name before the uh, doc drops someone said not reading all that uh, someone else said, trying to get the word out before the world sees Netflix showing who he truly is in a different way. Nice PR. Fuck him. <laughs> oh, yeah. My boy Vince said, hold on, man. You're not going to get me like that. No, 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 no. I'm going to let the world know that I'm not a bad guy. I was just having some fun. That's it. It's always been fun. Anytime I did anything outside of the wrestling business, it was just fun. Like when me and Diddy, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> that, that picture of Vince and Diddy having a party, well, partying with Diddy. I think uh, one year it was in New York, WrestleMania in New York, and Diddy was, uh, I don't know, he was like the host or something, and he was partying with him. You may be partying with Diddy in jail very soon, Vince. But yeah, that sounds about right. Of course, he would know. He's a part of the documentary. I'm sure other people, like Triple H and other people, have seen the doc before it came out. It's been done 
for a while, most likely. So, of course, he's going to do damage control and say, oh, no, 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 that ain't it. No, 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 that's that's not what's happening. No, no, no. I was just having fun. That's that's all I heard. It was just just lighthearted fun. I, I, I'm I'm not the same person as the Mr. McMahon character. That's bullshit, Vince. You are that person. This is the same guy that was trying to have an incest storyline with his own daughter. This is the same guy that thought it was a brilliant idea to essentially have an affair on television with his real wife while she was in a com comatose state. She was literally just in a whole nother world while he was making out with Trish Stratus. This is the same guy that made Trish Stratus bark like a dog. <laughs> like, come on, bro. Come. Stop it. Relax with the shenanigans, bro. Stop that. Stop it. Like I said, accountability. Have accountability for what you've done. You don't want to? That's fine. It seems like the truth is going to get out regardless. So him trying to get ahead of this to try to play the Oh, uh, we're just having fun. That's not really how I am. There's two sides of the story. And he is right. There is two sides of the story. But is his story going to be truthful? What's more easily, easy, what's easier to believe? Vince McMahon having some sick, depraved ideals of what's fun and what he thought was entertainment. What's more believable? Some of the stuff we've heard or nah, he was just putting on a show for us. It was just all character work. Come on now. If you see exactly how he would book certain stuff, that's what Vince thought was entertaining. That's what Vince got off on. So it's not hard to believe that some of the stuff that we've heard from over the years could possibly be true. And if Netflix is going to stand on their, their guns here, or not guns, but, you know, stand on their feet, stand on business here, and actually put some revealing stuff out there that's not going to paint Vince McMahon in a beautiful picture, then that's crazy to them. Kudos to them. And once again, it's crazy because WWE Raw, Monday Night Raw, is going to Netflix. And apparently, I had seen an article or some type of report talking about SmackDown well, also, well, I think we checked it out here. SmackDown will be airing like their their footage on Netflix as well. So after the show goes live on the USA Network, they'll be putting the footage on Netflix for those to watch if they missed it. So it's crazy that WWE is coming to Netflix and then Netflix is dropping a documentary about one of the most infamous wrestling characters and individuals in wrestling of all time. And it's probably not going to be in a positive light for the most part. Either way, I'm going to check it out. I'm going to give my review and analysis on everything, and we're going to talk about it. It's going to be a great time. If anything, what I think I probably want to do, I probably want to do maybe like a live stream of it, like each episode. Instead of me having like maybe a traditional video, I'll probably do like a live stream. So if anything, I'll probably tweet out something like, hey, I'm going to check out first episode. And then afterwards, we're going to do a live stream and we're going to talk about the first episode and kind of discuss with y'all in the chats. So if that's something y'all want me to do, uh, definitely let me know. I'm looking forward to it because I already know. It's, we probably gonna hear some things that we may not have heard before so but comment down below let me know if y'all feel like this is basically damage control from vince mcmahon trying to get ahead of the documentary so that way you know he doesn't come off as bad as what this documentary may end up saying because to me it definitely looks like some uh um i guess you could say damage control trying to get ahead of the whole situation knowing damn well most people are not going to buy it. Appreciate it. Road to 150K. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace. <laughs>